welcome to code alive with andra and in today's video we'll continue on starting with building up the project project structure so uh, let's first initialize our go project and create a project directory for that so i'll do a mttir and uh, the project name will be url shortner shortner application so we have this url shortner application created so let's do a cd on this one so as we already discussed the project structure first of all we will have an uh, api folder so mkdir api uh, after that after the api folder we will have this uh, db folder in this one so mkdir db and uh, okay so we ha also have our main function but we'll create it later so let's first of all check whether these are created or not okay so as we can see this both the api and db has been created now uh, going further as we have discussed inside the api directory so let's first of all get into the api directory uh, we have our first folder which is database so let's create this database sorry this will be mkdir uh, database so inside our api directory we have this database directory first of all and now create let's create a uh, utils so utils will be here so both utils and database has been created uh, now it comes to model so this will basically we have the structure for request and response which will be present in the models so mkdir models and the last one will be the routes so mkdir routes so let's first clear out the terminal and i'll show you so these four uh, directories has been created inside our api directory right so and uh, apart from that let's move forward and uh, let's go ahead and create our initialize our go module so that will be the top level of the project which will be url shortener so i'll do a go mod in it github.com slash anurag uh, slash url shortener right so here we have initialized our go project so so let's move to our vs code and uh, let's see so as we can see i have created database models routes and utils in here so okay so this won't be database inside database let me delete it first to trash okay so this is the database uh, models routes and utils apart from that we have created this db1 which will create the which will uh, actually have the docker file for the redis and go mod so here we have initialized our uh, go project so at first let me create the main file let me create the main file for us which will be the main dot go and this will be basically the entry point of our program which will be package main right so next we have our uh, five endpoints which will be uh, tag adding the tag deleting url edit url and get so let's first of all create those also so the first one will be short end dot go let's have this package first of all short end dot go then we have this get url dot go so basically this will be responsible for getting the urls from the database the third one will be edit url so edit url dot go package routes sorry the fourth one will be our uh, delete url dot go and the last one will be add tag dot go okay so so we have created this uh, five endpoints first of all the, so this will be basically creating the, uh, the so the, the router will be diverting our request to uh, among five of, of these uh, files basically which will handle the short end the get edit delete and adding the tag one so let's move forward in the db folder and the db folder we will basically have nothing but a docker file so let's create a docker file here docker file so i can just let's initialize something like this from this we have this so we are basically going to use the alpine version of this one 
So from the base image, we are going to take this Alpine from Redis here, and we are actually exposing the port number uh, 6379, which is the default port for the Redis container. So we will discuss more about this one in future. So I've just created it for the reference. And uh, at final, let's create a Docker file, which will be the which will create the application uh, Docker image. So this will be Docker file here. Uh, I will just uh, initialize it a little bit. Uh, this will basically a Golang application. So it will be from Golang and I will be using the Alpine version of that. Okay, so we are done with our Docker files. So at last we have the Docker compose, Docker compose dot YAML. So, so this will be basically having our doc. So this will be basically used for multi-container communication and all, right? So, uh, and also for having for having our all the endpoints and uh, DB passwords and DB addresses, all the ports and all, we can also create one more file, which will be uh, basically .env file. So let me create a .env file here. So I've created a .env file where we'll be uh, adding all the details regarding to the port and the host and domain kind of stuff. Okay. So yeah, so that's it for the today's video. Uh, we will be continuing of uh, can continue working on the uh, this project in the for further videos until then stay tuned and you can check my previous videos where i've explained the architecture for the project